Today I'm going to make a classic herbal dessert that is used for better sleep and better skin. In this dessert, there are three Chinese herbs that are traditionally used for poor sleep that is caused by anxiety or stress. When we don't get enough good sleep, our skin will feel quite dry. Therefore, I added one extra herbal ingredient that is famous for its skin beautifying actions. However, its texture is a little bit weird. So if you're an adventurous um, foodie, I'll dare you to try it. So stick around to see what it is. Hi everyone. Welcome to Chinese Herbal Pantry. My name is Shirley. I'm a Chinese medicine practitioner and a pharmacist in Australia. This channel is about how to improve health and general well-being or to relieve minor symptoms by using Chinese herbs at home effectively and most importantly safely. However, please note that the recipes shared in this channel is in no way to replace healthcare by your healthcare providers. If any symptom persists, please make sure you go to see your doctors or any other healthcare providers. Before I go into the actual ingredient that used in this um, dessert, let me briefly introduce this kind of dessert that is widely um, consumed in Asia or among Asian communities. In Chinese, they are commonly um, known as tang shui or tong shui. It literally means sugar water. If you have been to Asia or even Chinatown in any parts of the world, and you probably have seen um, these little shops or even tiny little stores that sell um, like a, a small bowl of sweet soup that Asians love to eat. So um, they almost like our afternoon tea and they is our dessert. Sweet soup is generally made from, say for example, seeds, flowers, herbs, root vegetables, beans, fruits, and etc. Um, quite a number of these um, ingredients are also used in Chinese herbal medicine. So they are super nutritious, and many Asians are using them um, as a preventative measure for some minor symptoms, or they're just generally for well-being. So today, the sweet soup that we're going to make is called Lianzi Bai He Gui Yuan Ying Er Tang. So in English, it literally just means the four ingredients we use in this sweet soup, which are lotus seed, lily bulb, longan fruit, and the silver year mushroom, or we also call it snow fungus. Yes, this is the weird ingredient that I'm talk I talked about previously. Okay, we'll start measuring the herbs. Um, I want to show this beautiful traditional handheld scale that given by my dad, who is also a Chinese doctor. I thought it's fun to show you how I do it, but at home, um, you just use your normal kitchen scale. So we will need 40 grams of lotus seeds, 50 grams of lily barbs, and 15 grams of longan fruits, and then a quarter or half of a tremella mushroom or snow fungus. Um, rock sugar to your own liking. Optionally, you can add a handful of goji berries and um, three um, red dates. Uh, make sure you um, remove the pits. So the first three ingredients that I just um, mentioned, um, although they come from different categories of um, ca different categories in Chinese herbs, all three share one similar function. They are tradi traditionally used for poor sleep, with vivid dreams, mouth palpitations, um, caused by anxiety, restlessness, irritability, or simply over worry. Yeah? Of course, all these symptoms I just mentioned are only your recent symptoms. Um, this um, herbal recipe is not to be used to treat um, chronic or clinically um, diagnosed insomnia, anxiety, or depressions. Please see it's more like a dietary support. For example, if you are usually quite healthy, but knowing that you might have some stressful um, weeks or months ahead, just like the current pandemic um, situations. And you kind of suspect or think that you might um, experience some of the mild symptom that I just mentioned. Then you can cook this once a week or so um, to give you a little bit of extra support. This is um, like a little sweet tricks. 
instead of resort to your usual very sweet or high calorie cakes or cookies um, when you are stressed at least now you have like one more help uh, one healthier options let me quickly explain how I designed this recipe so you get some basic understanding how these ingredients work together so these three um, main ingredient has slightly different um, we call thermal property so what it means that this one is neutral the um, lotus seeds lily bulb is slightly cold long an is warm so in this recipe it's reasonably balanced out each other this is neutral a higher dose of slightly cold and lower dose of slightly warm um, one very important thing that i want you to know that um, long an fruit can be quite sweet which is great in the herbal desserts but if you are diabetic you need to be a bit uh, more careful and people who tend to have more heat size then use less of the long an okay so now we've got the fourth ingredient which is the snow fungus Ta -da! it's so beautiful um, there's a, um, a few different names snow fungus uh, silver wood ear mushroom or just white wood ear mushroom um, the academy is um, tremella um, it starts to get a lot of attention in the west about its anti-aging um, properties um, some company even make it into like um, supplements so but if we can introduce in our um, everyday diet why not um, it's not that expensive to buy um, the few things i have to mention is and look at my it's slightly um, yellowish this is the natural color if you see the very white color then i'll be a bit more cautious because they might have used some bleaching um, agent to bleach it a little bit and it's supposed to have a very earthy wood woody smell so if what you um, buy it doesn't have that kind of mushroom smell then i would say be a bit more careful so um, um, snow fungus is a form of mushroom that grow on a tree so they are so beautiful in the nature Some preparation need to be done before cooking. Firstly, you have to soak the snow fungus with cold water ideally for a few hours or until it is softened. For demonstration purpose, I will soak one whole snow fungus with boiling hot water. It is to show you how much water it could absorb and how beautiful it is when it blossoms like a little flower in the bowl. But in this recipe, you will only need quarter to half. If you soak and cook it long enough, it may become gelatin like in the soup. It is like a plant source of collagen and that's why it is good for the skin. During the soaking process, please change the water a couple of times to wash off the dirt if any. Once it is softened, you need to remove its root sections. They are hard and not very palatable. And then you cut it into smaller pieces. Check your lotus seed. If you see green seedling in the middle, please remove them. Otherwise, your sweet soup will taste a bit bitter. After that, please soak lily bulbs and lotus seeds with water separately for about one hour or until they are softened. Okay, all the preparation have done. We will start cooking. Um, mind you, I'm not really a master chef. Um, my cooking might not be the best. At least I'll show you some simple techniques and then you can master your own techniques, okay? Um, ideally, if you're cooking with any Chinese herbal uh, or Chinese herbs, um, you're not supposed to use any cast iron or, um, or aluminium material cookware. Um, if you have any earth material cookware or glass, they are okay. Stainless steel, um, it's okay too as long as it's a high quality stainless steel because um, when it's high quality it's more inert so it means that it won't interact with the herbs because iron and aluminium uh, we think it will interact with the herbs and change the properties so i already have one liter water here let's start with bringing the water to boil okay so n now we can see the water it's boiling now you can add the lotus seed and snow fungus um, then you just wait and i'm um, checking it from time to time um, to make sure the water is not dry because the chamela or the snow fungus tend to absorb a lot of fluid 
Um, add a bit, a bit more water so it won't dry out. Increase the heat a little bit until it boils and turn it back down to medium or low. So, so it's about half an hour already. Um, you can cook it longer if you like your snow fungus a bit softer. Now you can add your um, lily bulb. Lily bulb is added um, a bit later and it tends to break down more easily in boiling water. If you add it too early, the final dish can get very mushy. And now you add the red dates. So if you are like me who is time poor or lazy or also like um, baby food, uh, I prefer it to be a bit mushy, then you can add it together, the lily bulb and the red dates together with the um, snow fungus. You cook it all this together for another 15 to 20 minutes or so. Okay, it's about um, 15 minutes already. The lily bar has been softened even more. So now it's towards almost towards the end. Um, you can add the last three ingredients. The longan fruits. And the goji berry. So have a bit more color. And all this tends to be um, quite sweet already. So with the sugar or the rock sugar, it's entirely up to you. Um, I don't put a lot, I just put a very small rock to enhance it. You can even put less. So you need to cook this for about another 5 to 10 minutes or so. Um, the colour will start to turn slightly brownish because of the um, long, longan fruits in there. And the smell is absolutely um, quite amazing. I, I like it. All right, they're ready to serve. Yeah, it's really good. It's really fragrant, um, the combination of the herbs. Okay then, that's all for today. If you like um, what you see today and learn something today, don't don't forget to subscribe, press the button or the little logo on the side. Then you will get notifications of my next video. I'd love to hear what your um, special, your own recipe is or what your family cook for you or, or any special tips that you would like to give it to me. I would love to learn. Please also say hi in um, Facebook or Instagram and um, we can exchange more there as well. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha